Hi, this is John from SOS, and in this video, we'll be showing you how to use the mobile canvassing app and using packets. So here are the steps. You're going to open Canvasser from your Salesforce One mobile application in either your iPhone or Android. You're going to go to Settings and select Project Group, Projects, and Packets. You're going to toggle between the map and list views select a contact on the map, complete a survey, open up a contact in Salesforce One and get turn-by-turn -turn directions to your next contact. So let's get started. So after you've opened up Salesforce One on your mobile device, you're going to select Canvasser. You'll see an icon like this, the word Canvasser. Go ahead and click on that. It may ask for you to allow for location services and you definitely do want to select for that option every time you open up the canvasser. The first time there may not be any points on the map and that is why the first step is to go to your settings. Settings are located at the bottom left corner of the screen and this is where you're going to select your packet. So go ahead and first select the project group that you've been assigned to from the list. In this case, it's sample project group. Then you're going to select the project. In this case, it's Albany. And then choose the packet that you want to visit. I'm going to select packet 4. Then you will hit the Save button up at the top. Next, Filter button. And from there, you'll see the points on the map. You can toggle between the map view and the list view by going to the center bottom icon. Click on that once and you'll see the list of names. This may be important because if there's more than one person at a particular address you will only see one icon on the map. So you may want to take a look at the list view and see if there's additional contacts that live at the same address and you can toggle back and forth by clicking on that button again. Next, you can look and you'll notice that there may be different icons on the contacts. A check mark means that they've signed and agreed to the work that you're doing. An X means they refused. And a blue icon just means the person has not yet been visited. When you click on the icon, you'll see their address their employer if that's available. And then you have two other options. You can click on the survey button which will bring up the survey. Those icons change based on the result that you select so it's important to make sure you remember to fill in the result field. These are just some samples of a particular survey. Add whatever information you want. any notes and then click the submit button and the icon has changed to a check marks because we did say that the person did sign. We had successfully completed this visit and we wanted to go to the next person. You could click on their name and then select that person which brings up the standard Salesforce contact form. And from here, you may want to get turn-by-turn -turn directions. And to do that, you would click on the three dots towards the button actions and scroll to the map. And that's going to bring up your standard mapping program, and you can then get your turn-by-turn -turn directions. And that concludes this video on how to add somebody using the Canvasser app.